Hey guys, it's that time of the month we're going to check out what came in the August inshore box. We've got our new box design there as well. We're pretty stoked about I hope you are too. Alright, what do we have? Alright, uh, let's start the box out with the DJ Jig Minnow from Domeki. This is an awesome little, I wouldn't even know what to call it, a Jig Minnow essentially because it's just a weighted, unbibbed stick, stick bait. bait, but sinking. The, the lead stick bait? Yeah. Um, they're pretty awesome. They come with tool sets of trebles there. I've seen some other ones in the market similar to this that just have the one on the back. I prefer that with the two. Uh, pretty easy to use. Just cast it out and burn it through schools. This one in particular actually has a lime class record for Australian salmon in South Australia, yeah, isn't it, I believe? South Australia. So it's definitely got some pedigree and there's some fish caught on that. Uh, color range is pretty cool. This is a pretty wild one. Pretty rainbow sort of thing there, but we know that the saltwater fish just like bright colours. Uh, the weight on it is 23 grams, so for an 85 mil lure, that's going to be able to cast pretty far, and it's shaped like a yeah. bullet. So. You can cast it off the rocks, off yeah, the surf. Definitely. You don't have to be in a boat to. No, nah, this is something you can use anywhere and have used everywhere, and it's just a great one. So yeah, nice way to kick off the box with the sinking stick bait slash jig. Slash everything. Slash everything. Um, we've got something that's never been sold in Australia before. It's actually brand new from Dominki. It's the Armour Shad and a 7 inch size. So I know you can get the 5 inch and the 3 inch in Australia and they do really well. But now you've got the bigger 7 inch. Now that's, it's got, look at the way that just hangs there. It just tells you how much action you're going to get. I mean, you're barely moving the fingers and it's like all over the place. So you're going to put that on with a suitable sized jig head, which we have in the box for you. And that's the new Nitro Saltwater Pro Offshores. This is the 7 -0, and it's a 3 8 ounce. So you just rig that straight up onto this guy, and uh, you'll snap a Pelagix. Jewies. Refish Jewies. I mean, especially that kind of size and that action. It's kind of mint. Flicking that in the current, coming off of rock bars, that kind of thing, or just over reefs where you know the snapper are going to be. Um, it's not a TPE, it's a traditional plastic and super like soft. It's going to get you fish. It might not last too long, you'll get a couple fish off of it, but as long as it's putting fish in the boat, that's what counts. Uh, it comes five in a pack. I think we had red ones, white ones and pink ones to start off with. The silver one? And the silver one, yeah. It's a slab of silver um, will also be shown up in boxes. So again, really cool. Matched it up with the Nitro 70 jig heads. And uh, yeah, you're cooking with gas there. Sweet. Uh, next in the box, we've got from Williamson, just a gamame jig, which is basically just your slug. See that shape there, that slight bend in the body, that's what gives you your action. You're casting that out, you're winding it back. It's essing and waving and spinning and doing all its stuff in the surf and the chop and wherever you want to use it. Pretty much bread and butter for any inshore angler is to have a slug of several types. 100%. All different weights and different colours. You could take that to the beach and fish it off the beach if you really wanted to. Salmon, tailor. Tailor, long tails. Long tails. Anything that wants to eat a bait that's moving fast, essentially. Trevs yeah. in particular. Yeah, trevs in the surf is something that's starting to get a bit cool and popular. So yeah, that one's pretty easy. I won't talk about it too much because I'm sure everyone who's fished inshore has used a slug before, yeah. so... Don't have too many. Yeah, oh, I will mention that it is 35 grams. Yeah, 35 grams, right. The next one, a bit smaller than what we usually put in an inshore box, but sometimes you have to match the hatch. And this is from Rapala, the new range of soft plastics. It's the Crush City range of plastics. This one's called the Jerk. That's why your three inch soft plastic right there. Look at that. Got your little fork tail. Soft plastic. Now it's your TPE material. So he does stretch out quite a bit. He's got salt in it as well. And we've got a little hook slit in the body there. I'll try and show that to you. It's not a big one. There you go. So you can hide a hook into that. Gonna get your action when they're only hitting white bait. And that'd be whether it's your kingies, your snapper, your tuna. When they're only hitting the small stuff, they'll ignore the big guy. Which is a lot of the time. A lot of the time. But <laughs> they're keen in onto something like this. And when they do, at least you're prepared. You're going to have this in your box. You can chuck this on a jig of whatever size you want. Be looking at a 1 0, 2 0, yeah. even, up to, even up to a 3 0. Stick out right at the end there. And you're going to cast that through these schools. They're only hitting the white bait. You're going to match that hatch, chuck it in, crank it back fast. And you'll be on. 
yeah. they'll be all over that. And being TPE, especially if it's your mackerels and that kind of stuff around, yeah. you'll be using that same plastic over and over. Well, nothing worse than getting bitten the tail off and then nothing comes cool. and hits it on and the just, rest of the retrieve. Yeah, so. Exactly. So good one to have in your box. And that's from uh, Rapala. It's their new Crush City range. Only released a couple of days ago. Yeah, brand new. Right. Uh, keeping with the fast burning theme, I guess. There's a lot of that in this month's box. We've got the Trick Metal from Gamoku. This one is something you can do that fast burn, but you can also fish it like a jig. So you can see that there's that heavier weight to one side, which will get it doing that swing as it sinks. But you can. it's not like a crazy amount, yeah. so you can still actually burn that back colors in a mccool it does come with the assist hook so you got that one at the top so it is really set up like a jig uh, but it does have the treble on the back as well so you, out of the box you could use Very it like a jig. you could cast it you could do anything again i'm not going to talk about it too much because everyone's fished that sort of stuff exactly so that rounds up our august inshore box bit of variety there with our sinking stick bait our slug our jig that can also be used as a slug two sizes of soft plastics and a pack of jig heads if you like what you see and you want to have a chance of winning this box just comment below which lure would you try on first and we'll announce the winners around the 5th of september until then tight lights catch you later guys